Hey YouTube. Uh, so according to YouTube, it's been about a week and a half maybe since I made my first video. I did a tour of the game room. I really wanted to come out with a video a little sooner than this. Uh, the, the second video anyways, but I just haven't had the time, so I do apologize for that. But today I do have a video. Yesterday, uh, the family and I went to what's called Garage Mahal, and it is in Northwest Indiana. Um, essentially what Garage Mahal is, it is a large garage sale. There's literally 150 garage sales in the area of Whiting and Robertsdale going on at the same time. It happens from about 9 to 4 p.m. Uh, they have just about everything you're looking for. And it's a one-day event and it happens once a year and you basically go to the commerce in the city and they give you this nice pamphlet that shows you know a basic idea of what everybody's selling and the address and, and all that and while it's going on they're handing these out on the, the corners so that you can get one there and then it even has a map in the back of, of the event and everything it's it's really cool I, I really try not to miss it when it comes up it's well worth the time I did spend about five hours walking around um, looking for video game stuff or video game memorabilia anything that I could find and I did find some really good stuff yesterday um, but five hours of walking makes you pretty darn tired so I was a little exhausted to make this video yesterday so today I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up yesterday um, and I guess I will start from the first house that I went to and work my way to the end um, I actually went across the street and there was a guy who had maybe 25 or so Nintendo 64 games and he had a system and some controllers and such uh, the system was a bit dusty he didn't have it out yet but um, I, I probably wouldn't have gotten it anyways he he did have some good games in there but he was asking a bit much for them and when I, I asked him for a, a few particular games he said oh well you know stop by in an hour or so I need to check on the prices and when he said that I was like ah, this guy I forget it I'm not gonna get anything good from this guy because he's gonna check eBay and Amazon and all that and he's gonna just charge too much so I said okay I'll be back in about an hour and he said cool so I left and uh, we, we started down the first block and uh, it's actually me and my brother and my girlfriend's son uh, and came upon these not much but it was good for a first find I found these uh, World of Warcraft cups and there's one for the Lich King I should put that a little closer so you can see it's got cool graphics on it the Lich King's on there and they're good quality plastic cups they're not foam or anything it's got one for uh, Cataclysm and, and you probably can't see it in the camera too much, but the, the actual World of Warcraft is like a blue chrome. Um, and obviously I won't be drinking out of these because they'll probably just wash right off. And there's one for Burning Crusade, so for the glare. But uh, these were 25 cents each, so 75 cents for the three. And they'll make good display items. I plan on picking up some uh, World of Warcraft uh, figurines or maybe a Arthas statue or something like that. I'd like to get more PC game stuff going on so that was good 75 cents and then the next house that I went to I found uh, a lady uh, you know it's very important you always ask because I've seen this in other YouTube videos they said the same thing and it's it's really important that even if you don't see any video games out there always ask because this lady said uh, no we don't have any games and I said are you sure and like not like the older games or anything like that and she said, well, we do have a PlayStation 2. And I said, okay, well, can I see it? And she said, sure. And she brought out this plastic bag. You would assume it was a bag of clothing sitting there because you wouldn't even notice it. She brought a plastic bag over, opened it up, and inside was a PlayStation 2, the fat model. And it is in way better condition than the one I currently have. Uh, mine has some scratches on the front and a bit, a bit dustier on the inside. But I've already, you know cleaned it off and everything and it runs perfect uh, my my drive on mine was kind of rocky coming in and out and I tried to fix didn't work 
but this one opens and closes perfectly so I was pretty happy to find it and it came with the all the power wire the AV wire the hookups everything um, it came with a gray uh, dual shock controller and it came with a black one but the wire on the black one was messed up uh, which is not a problem because I have some scrap PlayStation 2 controllers with perfect insides just like the analog sticks and buttons are messed up I'm just gonna swap it out and I'll have a, a nice new uh, black dual shock controller and it did come with a few games just some sports games nothing major um, but it took them anyways because they came with it mm. so I got this with the games and the controllers and the wires for 15 bucks uh, which is not bad for a fat model PS2 because they go for a bit more than they should um, okay so the next house that I went to I found uh, well the first thing I saw on the table was and at this point let me say that there was a guy actually walking in front of us who was looking at uh, looking for video game stuff as well but for some odd reason he passed this up and, and I'm really curious why because they work perfectly fine I found one it's the purple uh, clear Nintendo 64 controller and two purple clear Nintendo 64 controllers perfect working condition the sticks are tight it's it's they're they're perfect controllers and he actually picked them up but did not take them and you're gonna think he's really crazy when you see what else that was there and the price that I got it for and then I got this Game Boy Advance SP carrying case the Pokemon Emerald version with an orange Game Boy Advance SP in great condition works perfectly fine now the screen is not scratched up it's got some smudges but it's not scratched up the battery holds a charge games play perfect no rust no corrosion no anything came with the charger and it came with this game Sonic Adventures yeah oh man it's kinda kinda blurry but Sonic Adventures works perfectly fine so all this the two controllers and the Game Boy Advance and the case and the charger 15 bucks got it for fifteen dollars um, yeah not really sure why that guy passed it up uh, especially since I believe the orange one is one of the rarer ones but oh well so we took a walk further down the street and uh, oh boy what did I find next okay so I believe it took a while before we found anything after that but then I did run into um, the, the next thing, which was I saw this sitting on the table, Mario Kart DS. Um, it did not have the lay, it doesn't have the label, but I, I guarantee it's Mario Kart DS. I've already tried it. Um, and I asked the guy how much it was, and he called his kid over there, and his kid said, it's $5, but $5 for everything. And I look, and there's actually more. There was um, Pirates of the Caribbean, Lego Pirates of the Caribbean, and a game that I'll probably never play. I'll probably try to sell it or something or trade it. Ducati Moto, and they're they're all complete inside the inside the cases and everything, um, except for the sticker on the Mario Karts. Um, also a Nintendo DS Lite. A blue model and it works perfectly fine only problem is uh, the hinge is broke right there so I'm gonna have to get a replacement case it's like ten dollars on eBay or something I don't know maybe you guys know where to find one cheaper than that but that's the cheapest I found probably put like a gold Zelda case on there or something um, it's just an extra DS I already have one so yeah the same thing this whole charge plays the games perfectly runs perfectly fine five bucks for the DS and the three games from that guy and he pretty much insisted that I take it all as a package it's it's almost like he didn't want to sell just this game so I said okay I'll take it I didn't want to have to deal with a broken DS but for five dollars for everything I was like okay give it to me I'll take it and I'll I'll fix it not a problem so then at that point um, I met up with my girlfriend, uh, she was coming out of the house, and we kind of went went together to look from that point, 
And when I got back around there, I went back to the guy with the Nintendo 64 games because it had already been a little bit over an hour. And he had a couple extra games out there that he had found uh, to looking through his stuff. And so I picked out a few and I said, okay, well, these are the, excuse me, these are the only three that I really want. So what kind of deal can you cut me for these? And uh, I'll show you the games. Uh, the first one is Battle Tanks. And the cartridge looks really good. I mean, I don't know this isn't a big name cartridge, but I like the games. So. The second one is Goldeneye, which is one of the ones that he wound up finding after I left. And the third one is the Gold Ocarina of Time Zelda cartridge. Um, I already have the regular one. I already have that. So it wasn't like I was in dire need of it. It was just sort of an upgrade to get the collector's edition one. Um, but I asked him, you know, what can you do for me? Uh, and he said 30 bucks. And I said, oh, well, let me see how much I got. So I went and uh, at that point I noticed I was a little bit low on, on cash because I didn't expect to run into so many things. So I said, okay, well, I got 20 bucks. And he said, uh, okay, I'll do it for 20. So I got all three of the games for 20 bucks. Uh, he did have a manual, or not a manual, a strategy guide for 007, but I really wasn't interested because it looked, it was an unofficial guide and it, it looked pretty pretty worn out. So I, I told him, you know what, just keep the guide and try to sell it with the rest of the games or whatever. Maybe you'll get some extra cash for that. I don't, I don't, I don't know. But I, I have no need for it. Um, here's the charger for the SP that I got. It's a perfectly working charger. Um, okay, so then we walked a little bit further down the block and found another sale where I'm kind of looking around and I don't see anything uh, of interest and then I, I see this and I, I, I get board games as well. So um, when I saw this I had to kind of pick it up. I have a completely sealed brand new mint condition Stratego and it was three dollars. Um, I had no idea at the time, but then I looked it up on, on eBay to kind of get a price range of what it's worth, and apparently it's it's about 30 bucks, worth about 30 35 dollars average buy it now price. So that was a pretty good pickup. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. Um, I had no idea it was worth that, that much. Uh, I'm tempted to keep it because I got it because I love the game, but I may wind up getting rid of it just to get some, some uh, video game stuff anyways, because that was the whole goal. That was the whole point of going out there anyways, so... <clears throat> Excuse me. But at that same sale, um, I saw this sitting there, and I don't have this game yet, and I was actually thinking about buying it uh, a few days ago, and I saw it sitting on the shelf, the black label, complete, got the instructions and everything, and I said, wow, this is, this is pretty good, I'm going to pick this up. And I opened it up, and unfortunately, it's not the games. Sorry about that, I had to stop for a second. Uh, quick edit there, the kids screaming in the other room, I'm sure you want to hear that. But anyway, so I told the guy that it was not the game in there, um, not the correct game. And he said, oh, well, no problem. Uh, just, it was marked a dollar, so he's like, just give me 50 cents for it. So I pulled the money out of my pocket and I had uh, just lar a large bill and then I had a three singles and he's like, no. Nah you know what, just give me $3 for the board game. So I basically paid $3 for the case, the instructions, and the Stratego game. So this is nice to have if I ever, you know, run into the uh, copy without a case, which I tend to do with a lot of my games. Um, so that wasn't bad. I mean, it was nice of them to get through. Um, and then the next one, Walking Lawn just... Uh, there was a lady with some uh, who had a really nice computer desk who I actually I actually thought about getting it but it would have been too much trouble to kind of get a truck or whatever down there to to pick it up a uh, large glass desk for 25 bucks oh well but she did have some DS games and I got uh, Animal Crossing Wild World no case no instructions or anything but it was only five dollars so I was like, oh, I'll get it. You know, I've been getting some good deals today. I'll, I'll go a little bit higher for this one because I like the Animal Crossing games. So I got that, and then uh, 
we crossed the street and directly across the street from them was another sale and there was a kid there and he had a rock band set uh, really nice in a canvas bag with the drumsticks and stand and everything it was made for the drum set and uh, a nice guitar with it and they wanted 20 bucks but you know if you saw my game room tour video you already know I have too many guitars and too many drums here so I really don't have room to put another one even though I was so tempted to get it because I'm kind of addicted to collecting those things I just don't have room for it so uh, I, t I turned that down but they did have a nice uh, bag a little uh, carrying bag that says uh, Wii on it and it's like I assume it's for holding the Wii in uh, I'll probably not use it but it was two dollars and my girlfriend actually saw it so I said yeah let's let's get it and uh, you know why not for two dollars it's it's really nice so um, and then I asked the kid you know uh, once I saw he had the video game stuff I said you got any video games and uh, he said yeah I got a couple and he showed me these um, Super Mario World oh boy this really gets blurry I'm sorry for that when I get the games close but Super Mario World Super Mario Advance 2 uh, Game Boy Advance and uh, TAC the Great Juju Challenge for the Game Boy Advance um, he wanted a dollar a piece so I took them and they worked perfect this, the Super Mario actually had a name on it but uh, alcohol one swipe with the alcohol took the name right off you can vaguely see it but one swipe took it right off so I was glad that the name came off I hate when I get games and they got the names on them because I always feel like they belong to that person still when they got a name okay so and then we're walking along the street and we see um, along the busier street and I see a guy with a, a couple of guitars and uh, I've been meaning to pick up a a real guitar again uh, and an amp and, and I'm checking him out and my brother goes hey what's that on the window so and he sees this and I didn't even see it uh, Game Boy Advance it's got some scratches on the screen I have to replace that screen and it is missing the battery cover um, but it plays perfectly fine cleans it up charges everything works on it perfectly fine the guy said that he dug it out because he had a big box of like Pokemon cards and Yu-Gi-Oh cards and stuff just all scattered in a box and he said he was looking through them and he found this inside of it so he just put it up on the windowsill and I got this for a dollar so I said why not it's a fixer-upper but for a dollar why not uh, I, I didn't have a regular Game Boy Advance so uh, and, and I've been meaning to get them so a buck why not and then a backyard sale uh, I found this Atari TV games in perfect working condition. I plugged it in when I got home to check it out and see if it worked fine because I got it for 50 cents. Um, and it had a jumbled screen and I was like, oh no, it's broken. I'm going to have to open this and blah, blah, blah. So, but it turns out all it needed was just new batteries put in it and it works perfectly fine. It was just low battery. Uh, it's it's got like 10 games on there Atari games are the actual games the sound effects seem a little off they don't seem right for the Atari 2600 almost like they improved them um, which I don't blame them but then again it takes away from the nostalgia a little bit but it's a nice little handheld TV game thing and and for a quick plug-in to play I already have the games that are on here at, at least most of them that are on this thing so uh, more or less, it's just a just a habit, I guess. If I want to plug into another television, and fifty cents, why not? It can't be that. And then on sitting on a table, I'm gonna bet they had more than this because there were empty spots around it. But somebody didn't need this, and I don't have one, so I picked it up. Uh, the PS2 iToy. toy. Uh, I haven't checked if it works, but it looks really good condition. I mean, there's nothing visibly wrong with it. The cable's good and everything. Uh, it was a dollar. So I figured I'll pick it up and I don't have any iToy games, but now I have a reason to get some or at least look for them. And I know those games are fairly cheap, so that's not even a problem. Um, a few houses later, I saw a young guy walking out of a backyard sale and he had a red Nintendo Zapper, name brand Nintendo Zapper. And I was like, oh man, another game hunter and, and he's already got what that house had. Why would I stop there? And I'll take a look anyways because I might find something else besides games so 
I went in the back and uh, looked in the garage, didn't see anything, and I said, yeah, he took the only thing they had. Um, I leave the garage, and on a table sitting on the side in the sun, which kind of worried me a little bit, was a Genesis. And anybody who watched the tour video, you know, I didn't have a Genesis yet, and I said I was holding out and waiting for one to find one cheap. I got one cheap. Um, works perfect. Cleaned it. It looks great. Came with all the wires. It is missing the little port cover on the side, so I'm going to have to do something about that. But it, it works fantastic. Came with the power wire, came with the video wire. Uh, did not come with controllers, but I already have a couple controllers, so it's not a problem. Um, and on the same table sitting next to it, which I did not see until I was right there, was a Nintendo Power Pad. And it is in fantastic condition. Um, there is like a splatter stain on it on the other side, just a, some a few small splatter spots that I couldn't get off. I, but I, I maybe I'll try a little bit harsher cleaner to do it with and see if I can get it off. But other than that, the thing is immaculate. Um, it did have the original sticker right here, the warning sticker, and you could see a little bit of fading from the sun. Um, but I had to take it off because it was peeling off anyways, and it was really, that was the only nasty part on here. Um, and I didn't need it anyways. I'm not reselling this. I'm keeping it for myself. I didn't have one yet, so it wasn't a big deal to me. Uh, so this and the Genesis were both marked $5, and the guy came up and said, can I help you? I said, yeah. Um, do these work? And he said, well, they should. Uh, uh, the last time I checked them, and I said, okay, well, you want five each? And he said, yeah, five. I said, okay, can you take seven? And I know I'm, I'm, I whittle them down in little bits, but, you know, every little bit matters. You know, the $3 I save on this sale could get me uh, three games in the next one. So I said, can you take seven? And he said, yeah, I can take seven. So seven bucks for a, a completely working Genesis, um, first gen, and a Nintendo Power Pad. Now I need to get games for this as well, because I don't have any games for the Power Pad. Um, I also have to check it, but if it doesn't work, $3, what, you know, what am I really out, $3 for this. Uh, it's, it was worth the try, but like I said, it's immaculate, so I'm, I'm willing to bet it works perfectly fine. Um, so, the next one is a big one because we went to, oh, one thing before that. So there was a couple of like little kids who had set up this little table and um, they had a few games on there and they had this one, Mario and Sonic for the DS Olympic Games. Wow, you really can't see anything. I apologize for that. So Mario and Sonic, Sonic uh, great condition, came in a little plastic case when I took it out of the case. Um, Olympic Winter Games, works perfectly fine a dollar for it and I told them I said are you sure a dollar and they said yep a dollar so got it for a buck they had a couple others but uh, they were they were um, like uh, Bratz games and, and some pony games and stuff and you know I'm not a collector so I don't have to have every game that I see I just get the ones that I know I like and I play that game on the Wii and I enjoy it on the Wii so I don't see why I wouldn't enjoy it on you know, on the DS, so I figured why not, a dollar. Uh, okay, so here's the big one, uh, big for me anyways, because I have never owned any systems yet that were complete in the box, okay? And so we stopped off at a garage on a side road, and I'm looking through stuff, and outside, and I look inside the garage, and the first thing that catches my eye, I run right over there, and I kind of tag it, you know. And at that point, we were actually walking to the bank because we didn't have any money left, so we were going to go get a little bit of money out to, to try and pick up some more stuff. And uh, so I knew I didn't have anything left. I mean, I literally had nothing in my pocket. I spent the last dollar, so we had to go get more. So here I am with my hands on this because I don't want to lose it. A Dreamcast complete a box and the box is in great condition I mean it's got some worn edges and stuff but I mean all in all the box has the inside cardboard and and and, and uh, 
controller, wires, booklets, all of it is in there. Um, so the reason I had my hand on it and I was holding it was because it had a price tag on it for five dollars. And I said, no way is this five dollars. So I asked the guy, I said, do you want five dollars for this? And he said, yeah, five bucks. And I said, okay. So I had known that my brother went to um, uh, the store just earlier and he pulled some money out with, from the ATM. So I told him, yo, give me your $20 and I will give it back to you in a little bit. I need to get this right now. So he gave me the money. I picked it up and um, there was a good surprise in the box because when I got it home, not only was it the system complete with everything in there for $5, but it also had a virtual memory card, virtual memory unit, which works. Checked it already. Oh, the system works perfectly fine. I already plugged in it. Now, it did have something spilled inside the, the the game compartment but I opened it up already cleaned everything out it's 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 perfectly clean now perf it works perfect now so uh, it had the VMU and it also had a power and video cable for uh, Genesis inside the box added to it so I got a bonus uh, extra power and video cable for Genesis and maybe I'll sell it on eBay or something and make a little bit of money there. I mean, I could literally sell those and make back the money I spent for the box system, and I, I basically got it for free. So, and, and then some. So, <clears throat> that was, I was pretty happy to find that. Uh, and then the last thing that I picked up are these. It, we were we were just dead tired. Um, decided to kind of double back and cover a couple of houses before we went home uh, that I had already been to earlier. And, and I asked these people if they had games in the beginning, and they told me no. And so you come back later, and I guess maybe they found some games. Who knows, but uh, they had some 360 games, some Xbox 360 games. And I asked them how much they want for them, and they said, oh, I don't know, uh, $2, $2, $3 each? Uh, I think some are 5 And I'm like, oh, these people have no idea what they're charging. So... <laughs> um, I said, can I see them? And, and so I picked out five games here. I got uh, the Lego Star Wars Complete Saga, the Platinum Hits Edition. Um, I don't believe any of these. Some of them have the manual, but not all of them. It's no big deal for me for 360 games. I'm not worried about the manuals. And then I got uh, Lego Star Wars 3. The discs are, are fantastic, by the way. No scratches or anything, really. Uh, one of them has a few scratches, but nothing to complain about. Castlevania Lords of Shadow. Both discs are in there. And I believe this one is, yeah, this one's got everything in it. You know, both discs. And the book. And I got Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. No book with that. I can already feel there's no book in there. And I got Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, which does have the book. It does has the book. It does have the book. So Call of Duty More Modern Warfare 3. I got all five games. Um, I asked her, I said, okay, so if I take these five, how much do you want for them? And she's like, oh, 12. And I said, well, I was thinking 10. And she said, okay, they're not my games anyways. And I said, perfect. So... All five games, ten bucks, not a bad deal. Uh, I did see a few sales that uh, you know I showed up. I can tell that there were some games that were kind of rooted through. One guy had um, a few sports games for the 360, and then a lot of empty space. and And I said, "Let me guess, somebody's already been here picking through these games." and And he said, "Yeah, uh, way earlier somebody got them. They were all new games. I sold them for like two dollars each." And I'm like, ah. "But you know, that's the thing about garage sales and yard sales." especially in big events like this you can't always be there you can't be everywhere at once and you're never going to get every good deal you're always going to just miss something um, and that's that's a fact that you kind of have to accept one day you show up at a, at a garage or a yard sale and they tell you oh we just sold the games to the to another guy 30 minutes ago and then you you know you get discouraged you move on to the next garage sale and they say oh yeah we got them inside you know um, let, let me get them and then you they take them out and you get a good deal so it evens out in the end in my opinion although something like this you know this uh, the big event you're bound to find something you know even if I would have just found this 
I think, in my opinion, would have been worth the, the walk because, you know, take the family out, spend a good time walking around, uh, checking out the neighborhood, talking to people, had fun, 10 bucks, five games, that's worth it. But got all kinds of goodies, so it was a much better day. And then one last thing I want to show you guys. So my brother brought this over because he he got the game and... Um, I, I really don't know why he bought the collector's edition if he didn't want it. I didn't bother to ask him. But uh, I have the collector's edition Titanfall statue. If you saw the the, the, the tour video, you'd seen that. And I have the art book and the poster and all the, the goodies that came with it. But I was never really interested in the poster because those that have it know that it's a weird size. And I'd have been stuck trying to find a frame for that because I don't want to put up just a raw poster. Um, so we struck a deal. I gave him ten bucks, and I gave him the Titanfall poster, and he gave me this in exchange. It's the collector's edition Reaper of Souls box, um, and it's not just the box. Now he's already used the game code, so but but that's no big deal to me because you can always get the game again. It comes with the you know the art book. It's got the art book in there, and it's still sealed. And the mouse pad and the cards for the the guest pass soundtrack is still sealed. The 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 special features DVD is still sealed. The uh, the collector's edition game is in here, but you know it's used. I don't know if you can use it twice. I don't think so because it's kind of like World of Warcraft. But like I said, it doesn't matter. I can just pick up the game again and put it in here, and it'll be good to go. But the box is really cool. It'll make an excellent display piece. Um, I've been looking for a, a uh, Tyrael, Tyrael statue. Boy, I haven't played in a while. So I've been looking for the the, the Angel of Death, if you want to call him that, statue. Um, it'll go nice together. And then I have to hunt down the Diablo 3 Collector's Edition, which is a bit more expensive than a poster in 10 bucks. <coughs> Excuse me. So... You know, I do apologize that it took so long to make another video. Uh, I do plan to get another video out there. Uh, I'd like to really kind of talk about the collector's cases and the prices that they go for on eBay and how to get them at a, a much, much better price than fair and make, the, you know, even make them yourself, the artwork and everything, where to find it, how to find it, so on and so forth. But that will be in the next video. So definitely if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe uh, i can really use your support in this and uh i'd like to get some some of this information out there and and i love to kind of show the things that i find and give some information as to where i found them so that anybody else can can use that information in the future you know um to help them build up their collection if they want and uh you know, in the future, if I keep finding doubles now, you know, I've gotten to the point in my collection where I'm finding doubles of stuff that I already have. If I keep finding doubles, then I'll pick them up and maybe work out some kind of trade system on YouTube where people can trade me things that I don't have yet and if they're interested in anything that I just picked up. I'm, I'm not uh, against doing that. It sounds good to me. I know other people on YouTube do it and it works out perfectly fine. So, definitely subscribe. If you like the finds, you like the video, you want to see more like this, definitely hit the like button. Um, and then that lets me know that this is what you want to see. Uh, I do have plans for review videos as well. So I'll be reviewing some games, some newer games, um, and some older games. But uh, subscribe, like, comments, and let me know, guys. Thanks a lot, and I'll catch you next time.